to show you how the substitution items in GP inventory can be used during the sales order processing to select a different product that meets the same attributes of the product you're trying to sell, product you're trying to include on the sales order. So let's take a look at it. First of all, let's look at the item setup. So if we go to this item card here, and let me look up an item, look up this item here. Now this item's out of stock, actually it's negative. But on this item, I've got two, I've got a substitution item set up. I could set up a second one if I wanted to. But here, if I'm out of the white item, I'm going to select this item here to include in my sales order. So let's see, take a look at what that looks like in the sales order. So if I go to sales here, I'm going to enter a new item. Let me select a new order here and look up a customer. Put that in a batch. All right, now the item I want to sell, the item that my customer is looking for, is this item here. So I'm going to sell 10 of them. And it goes into the allocation. So I don't have any on stock. You can see that. And uh, I've got some options here. And what I want to do is I want to distribute this. So normally this is going to look at inventory in other locations. I don't have any. But I'm going to hit substitute down here. It's going to allow me to look at my substitute items that I already defined. I've got one here. Um, and if I had two, I could see that here. But what I want to do is I want to select this substitute item. I'm going to hit OK. It shows me that I have 36 available. I'm going to select all 10 and insert that and hit OK. Now it's going to overwrite the item, bring in the substitute item, and show me the quantity there. Since I have it on stock, it is allocated and I'm ready to go. And that's the way you can use a substitution item to fulfill your customer need in sales order processing.